Get ready for fun. Get ready for laughs. Get ready to have a great day. Live from the KHOU 11 studios, it's Great Day Houston. And now here's your host, Deborah Duncan. Okay, so it is the biggest ongoing obsession, especially in America, and I'm talking about weight. We spend billions looking for the secret weapon to help us win the Battle of the Bulge. You don't get in this kind of shape running on a treadmill. You do it with strength exercise, and I do it with a bow flex. I lost 50 pounds on Nutrisystem, and it's completely changed my life for the better. These are the only bands and gloves that give you the benefit of cardio and sculpting at the same time. That's the genius of this program. I lost 26 pounds, and I have eaten bread every single day. <laughs> Good for you, Oprah. OK, well, we hear it all the time. If you want to lose weight, you have to do two things, eat right and exercise. But what exactly does that mean? Our guest today used his medical knowledge to help celebrities drop the pounds on the reality show Celebrity Fit Club. You are on the tightest of ropes. You gotta eat better, you gotta stop drinking as much. Oh, really? This had a great, powerful, positive effect on my life. Last time you were here, you weighed in at 200 pounds. Your weight tonight is 187 pounds. You lost 13 pounds. You lost seven pounds. Woo! Your program works, dude. <laughs> to stop drinking? What? Okay, well, after doing that show, Dr. Ian Smith had several friends asking for advice and eventually turned into a series of books that explain exactly what to eat, how to eat, and how to keep the weight off for good. He's spending the entire hour with us, and we invite you to ask questions throughout the show. You can post your question on our Facebook page or call this number, 713-284-1055. 713-284-1055. In the meantime, please welcome New York Times bestselling author, Dr. Ian Smith. Hey, hey. Hey. Folks who you may uh, recognize, Ayanna Mack and Manny Garcia with Engine at 91.7 FM. Yeah. They have a testimonial because uh, for five weeks now you all have uh, taken part in this program. The okay, so let's, yeah, yeah. let's back up. Um, I mentioned that you had a lot of friends who were asking you, hey, doctor, and I was one of my texts, you go, what do you think about? Yeah, or, yeah. Right? And so you it's decided to put obsession. it on the books. It's the obsession. You know, interesting, that show Celebrity Fit Club was a big hit. It was a lot of fun. A lot of the celebrities are really interesting. Um, but that show, I actually learned myself. And I learned that people want to lose weight, but they want to be told how to lose weight. Mm -hmm. Before, I thought you just say, you know, eat well, eat more of this, eat less of that. People want specific instructions. What do I eat for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, for snacks? And it's got to be affordable. Yeah. So all my plans are all about accessibility. How can you actually take the food you already have in your house or bring some new food in without breaking the bank, right? And still lose weight. And so the new book, Blast the Sugar Out, really says to people, if you reduce the bad sugars, don't eliminate them because yeah. who can eliminate all sugars? But by reducing them, you will not only feel better, look better, lose weight, but even drop your blood sugars. Yeah, and, and we'll that talk is about what's working. Like yeah. Some of the things that we do with sugar in a second. But the other thing is there's a science to the body, and that's mm -hmm. what you also helped us with. Yeah, well, it's important that people understand that, you know, it's everyone says calories in must be less than calories out. Right. But it's a little more complicated. What kind than of that, calories? Right? In, right? Right? Exactly, like, exactly. Something tells me, like, you know, let's see, uh, 18 Snickers bars and, and, and the same calories in, in broccoli that's would right. probably be, act a little differently that's in your right. body. Right? Even though they may be the same number of calories at times, it's also what comes with the calories. So I talked to you but about. But the getting... Snickers does have protein because it has peanuts in it. <laughs> I'm just trying to point out that. And it has 27 grams of sugar. Okay, why do you got to talk about the sugar? I'm talking about the peanuts. <laughs> Um, but no, but the, but the interesting thing is that people have to understand that there are little things, little tricks I teach people on how to eat better, not perfectly, I never ask you to eat perfectly, no one's perfect, but how to eat better, still enjoy what I call your fun foods, because fun foods are important, yeah. but lose weight at the same time and feel like you can do a plan for the long term. Any plan that promises weight loss, but you can't stick to it, how good is it? Right, that's right? just good for a wedding. That's you, good for yeah. a wedding. You want to get to your dress and then you're done, right? No, I'm trying to get you a plan that you can actually do forever. And when people do my plans, by the way, they put the book away after a certain amount of time because they now understand mm -hmm. how to make better choices, how to do things better. And my book is like a little tune-up. Yeah. Let me go back to week it's three. It's a reference guide. Yeah, it's a little yeah. reference guide. But I don't want you living on my book. I want you just to learn from it 
and then live your own yeah, life. Then you start to know what looks right on That's your right. plate and the whole bit. Know all the tricks that the, the industry uh, uses to get you to eat their stuff and claim that it's like good That's for right. you. All right, Ayana and Manny, both of you decided to take part in his program because you're dealing with some health issues as well. Ayana, what's some of your health issues? Um, well, PCOS mm -hmm. is one of them. And then um, polycystic I, ovarian syndrome. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the fun stuff, that fun word there. Yeah. And, uh, and then also, I wouldn't eat in the morning, I wouldn't eat breakfast. You and I, same thing. I kept I skipping breakfast. I'm not eating as many meals, so I shouldn't be gaining weight. And it wasn't working. Yeah. It wasn't working. Explain to us what happened, because I mentioned this last time, is that I just am not a breakfast eater. And I kept thinking I had to get up and fix a breakfast, right? <laughs> no, it's just put something in your mouth. And I, I put protein in my, like a piece of meat. I actually had two leftover chicken nuggets, and I yeah. just took them. Right well, remember, so <laughs> remember something. You have to understand that your body is sleeping for a certain number of hours overnight, OK? So it's in a vegetative state. So it's not being nourished but it's still consuming energy you had put into your body during mm -hmm. the day. So when you wake up, your body's depleted. Your body needs to, like a car, a car needs spark plugs to get it going, get the engine going. You need to get your engine going in the morning. You may not have a big meal, but you have to have something because your body needs calories and needs energy. And so someone who says, well, I'm not really hungry, very common situation. Means you have no metabolism working, right? Your metabolism slowed down. So, so in my book, I say, okay, here's some options that you can have. You can start with, you know, some yogurt, our uh, yogurt parfait is yeah. easy to do. And a minute you can have show a smoothie. Us what type of yogurt? So, yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay, that's right. So, yeah, because then we get confused with that too. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so and, and you have two babies. I have a ten-month-old. So yeah, uh, the the hormone thing, and then just not eating right, not knowing sugar was just everywhere. So when I was eating, I was eating things that I had no idea was just loaded with sugars. Uh -huh. We're well, about to find out. Eighteen Snickers bar. Can I yeah. get it? <laughs> <laughs> You started the program five weeks ago. You lost six pounds. You said, I didn't really want to tell anybody it was just six pounds. Yeah. But when the scale starts to move the opposite direction, that's your momentum. And your body's got to get used to what you haven't been doing. But you're not, it's not just the six pounds. It's her inches. Yes. She lost inches. Listen, some people lose inches. Mm -hmm. Some lose more pounds. Some lose both. She lost, when I first saw her this morning, I saw her earlier, I was yeah. like, holy cow, <laughs> yeah. you look like so different. Like, okay. I saw you, when she saw me, I was like, yes. <laughs> what are you it's doing? Because mine's not necessarily big pounds, but the last time you saw me in my office, you I was were. a different girl. You yeah. were, like my mouth literally dropped. If you wouldn't have talked, I would have not known that it was you, Deborah. <laughs> <Yes>. so, <laughs> I mean, you're looking good. No, really. You're looking good. What are you doing? You doing CrossFit and Star <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm just eating, right? Okay, Manny, for you, yeah. uh, you had a, a uh, kidney transplant a while back, and your sister gave you that kidney. God yes. bless her, Thank right? You. Yes. Uh, but it's almost like you got a second lease on life, and so you had to get serious about treating your body well. Yeah, waking up in the morning, I was always sluggish. People think that sugar is supposed to make you energized, but actually, after a while, if you keep consuming really bad sugars, yeah, it actually slows you down. So I knew, like. We had to make, Dr. Ian came into the studio and like 30 seconds in, he's like, yo man, we, let me hear your story. So we heard about the kidney transplant. He was like, I think I got a way for you to get going on this plant. So we were like, Ayana sort of put me on the pre on pressure right there on the air. She was like, you're gonna do it? And I was like, okay, let's do it. So no, it I just- I didn't even ask you. I said, we're doing this. <laughs> <laughs> so, we're doing this. So you know, I have- yeah. but, but as usual, as usual, you know, like when like couples go on diets and That's stuff right. like that, yes. it's like the man loses like five billion pounds and the woman loses yeah. like a half an ounce. Okay, what did you lose? I've lost 15 pounds Woo! since I started. So, yeah. All right, so you talked about sugar a couple of times. Yeah. Um, just kind of give us a refresher. We're going to blast through this real quick. Uh, this is what we should right. be Right, the American consuming. Heart Association recommends that the average uh, American woman consume six teaspoons of added sugar, which is here. Mm -hmm. Men, nine teaspoons of added sugar. Okay. Because men are larger. Uh -huh. But just, you know, but this is what we do consume, though. <laughs> Instead. Right. So this is how much we consume in a week. Right here, this is a week. This one right here is a week. This is three pounds in a week. This is 13 pounds in a month. This one right here. Wow. Okay. This is the average American. Average. Yeah, Some keep in mind, you gotta burn this if you don't that's wanna right, gain the that's weight, right? right? Uh, now, let's look at some of these products here. This is a great, great setup. So, people who love to have their 20 ounce, of Coke or Pepsi, yeah. this is how much sugar is, is in that inside one. of that one bottle. And a lot of us get that big gulp instead, so Bigger than it's that. more than this, yeah. Compare that to a donut. Look at the sugar in a donut. So I'm not saying go out and go crazy on donuts, yeah. <laughs> but what I'm saying it's is- It's a misconception. It's a misconception. People think, oh, soda, it's liquid, it's not yeah. bad for me, blah, blah, blah. But you, it has m way more sugar than a donut does. Oh, but right? Dr. Ian, it's okay, because I've used uh, artificial sweeteners, and so I can have as much as I want, right? So the artificial sweeteners you know, are, are a huge dilemma. Number one, they're good because they have no calories. Mm -hmm. So that's a good thing. 
but they're bad because they're artificial, which means that they're 100 to 200 times sweeter than normal sugar. So the more you have of artificial sweeteners, the more you want of sweetness. Okay. And that is when the cravings start. Also, there's some studies showing that it puts you at risk for something called the metabolic syndrome, like diet sodas. So you got to be careful of that. So yeah. for my money, no artificial sweeteners. Yeah. And doesn't have some that send of the a message stuff. to your brain that you've already had sugar, so let's go ahead and start storing in, in fat? Absolutely. It kind of does the same thing sugar might do. Well, if you look here, okay, honey is a great substitute. Okay. Right? Uh, agave is great, agave nectar. Mm -hmm. uh, stevia, 100% organic stevia. So these are things that you can have in lieu of yeah. regular and sugar. And the body knows what it is. And, and also honey is very nutritious for yeah. you. Yeah, all right, now some people say, oh, I don't do the processed refined sugar, I do raw sugar. Because, <laughs> okay, your body does not know, does it? Like, okay, oh, oh, have your, it's brown sugar, we're all good. <laughs> don't make us it's fat, like, right? It's like, let me have my oatmeal, but only with brown sugar, not the white yeah, sugar. Right, right. Listen. Brown sugar is brown because it still has the molasses. Right. So when sugar is in its most natural form, it's brown actually. And processed sugar, white sugar, they just take the molasses out. But from a nutritional standpoint, it's still the same, same thing. Same. But marketers will have you believe, oh, brown sugar, brown sugar. Is it healthier for you? No, yeah. Yeah. no. Okay. All right. I want to show some things here that people may not know. For example. Well, you said we should eat, like yogurts is, is good. Yogurts are great, but guess what? When you get them with fruit on the bottom, they can have 18 to 24 grams of sugar. And remember our math, guys. Here's our math. Take the number of grams of sugar, divide it by four, and that tells you how many teaspoons are in that product. So I'm gonna pick this up. This Cliff Bar, for example, has 22 grams of sugar divided by four. That's five teaspoons in this one bar. Wow, okay. Right? All right, yeah, yeah, and that one thing there. We get, and then, you know, we think the healthier stuff. Look at this. Mott's apple juice, what's healthier than Mott's? And we all feed it to give it to our kids, right? <laughs> Ready? <laughs> one serving, one serving has 28 grams of sugar. Oh, wow. That's seven teaspoons of sugar in one serving. And that's one serving. Okay, what I do with stuff like this is I will pour like a little bit of this in like a carbonated water. So I have Dilute like, a, like my, yeah, my son thinks he has like an apple soda drink, right? That's right. Like, yeah, Look, you yeah. gotta pop, all right? Yeah. But so that way it's diluted, but you still have some flavor and some sweetness. So in, in my there. house, we do the same thing. We'll take some of the some of this and then we'll dilute it with water. Mm -hmm. So you, you know, it's half the strength, if anything. Right. All right. Go lean. Yeah, you know, of the cereals, this is one of the healthier lines. But even something like this, I'm looking here for the sugar content. Even here, it is 13 grams of sugar per serving. Oh, they, they didn't put that on the front here. They did protein, <laughs> fiber, and whole yeah, grain, right? Yeah, but no so sugar So we gotta learn there. to read. Learn to read. So there's three teaspoons of sugar per serving here. Uh -huh. Go to Raisin Bran, which also sounds very healthy. Four and a half teaspoons of sugar, 18 grams of sugar. So what I'm telling people yeah, is... and don't sprinkle your extra sugar on top of it. On right? top of it, right? <laughs> right and people right. do that, right? Yeah, they do, they do, they do. <laughs> what we're saying is just be better food detectives. There are good alternatives in the grocery store. Take the extra 10 seconds to turn the label over, read, do that little math, divide it by four, and voila, you, you can figure out what's in there. All right. Well, okay. And then uh, the artificial drinks. Again, okay. that type of stuff here. This whole thing, I wish I could just throw it off the table. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> Artificial. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> let it go. Let it go. <laughs> Listen. Your wish is my command. That's what right. I say. <laughs> once again, once again, no calories, but all this other junk that's inside of them. Yeah. And they trick people by saying to them, "Oh my goodness, try this. There's no calories." Well, even names like light, crystal light. Light. Right? So, my, once again, for my money, stay away from this artificial stuff. Take a little bit of the real stuff or a little of the substitutes like the stevia yeah, or the agave lemons. or the honey and some yeah. lemons, and, and you're gone. That's All right. Good. Okay, we're going to wrap up here, but I want to thank you, too. So, thank when awesome. can people hear you? And tell folks, <laughs> tell folks what you love to talk about on the show. I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. Okay, tell folks what you love to talk about on the show. What we love and to when talk they about can on hear the show? Yeah. Well, we love to talk about uh, you and what's going on in your world. Um, and you can hear us on 91.7 Engine Radio, Monday through Friday, 6 to 10 a.m. And uh, anything else you want to talk about, Manny? Positivity, man. Yeah. Alternative yeah. music, positive music, clean music, 6 to 10, Monday to Friday. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you all very, very much. Coming up later, Dr. Ian is answering your questions. We'll take your phone calls, or you can post your question on our Facebook or Instagram page. Remember, when Grandma would add just a pinch of salt, well, on today's diet, you could exceed your recommended daily allowance of sodium with just one breakfast sandwich. And by the way, is there really a difference between regular salt, sea salt, and substitutes? We'll find out. Woo!